now we would be doing linear equations in more details and hopefully after watching this video you would be able to do any linear equation you ever come across in just few seconds so can you solve this linear equation this one in five seconds I'm sure that you can so please give it a try time is up 8x minus 7x will be x and minus 3 plus 5 will be 2 so x equal to 2 did you get the same answer good very good so let me put down the steps see we have already learned the method to solve the linear equation in the last video isn't it we just have to bring the variables on one side and the constants and the coefficient on the other and we are done so take this positive 7x to the other side and it will become negative 7x and similarly take this constant to the other side so when minus 5 goes to the other side it will become plus 5 8x minus 7x is x and minus 3 plus 5 will be 2 and with that the equation is solved by the way this very useful method of taking the variables and the constants to the other side is called transposition and as you know that the word trans itself means to take from one place to another like transport so thankfully everything in mathematics has been named very logically so now try to solve this linear equation now as you can see that this one has a fraction in it so let's see how well you handle it start all right so let me put down the steps for you now as you can see that this linear equation has a fraction in it that is this denominator 3 so the easiest way to solve this equation would be to somehow remove this denominator that's it and we can easily do it by multiplying both sides of the equation by 3 see 3 gets multiplied to each and every term of this equation Now, as soon as we do that, this 3 in the denominator, what was giving us trouble, immediately disappears. It cancels out. And now this is a very easy equation, which you are already an expert at solving. Isn't it? I'll put down this equation. 3x plus 1 equal to 3 plus 9x. So, from here on, you know what needs to be done. You have to take all the variables on one side and all the constants on the other. So this plus 9x comes to this side and it becomes minus 9x. So 3x minus 9x will be minus 6x. And similarly, this plus 1 comes here and it will become minus 1. So 3 minus 1 will be 2. And now we can take this coefficient, this minus 6, to the other side so as you know that the operation in between a coefficient and a variable is always multiplication isn't it so when it goes to the other side it will get divided so we'll have x equal to 2 over minus 6 and you can simplify this fraction further by cancelling out the common factor 2 2 1 times is 2 and 2 minus 3 times is minus 6 so the final answer is x equal to minus 1 over 3. So now do this one. And once again as you can see that there are denominators to take care of. Start.
multiplying both sides of this equation by 8 we would get 4x plus 2x that is 6x equal to 1 so x equal to 1 by 6 question solved see so easily okay so let me put down the steps for you now as you can see in this question there are denominators and in fact so many of them but using the method that you have learned in the last example you'll be able to do it in no time very easily you'll be able to get to the answer so like I had told you whenever you see the denominators the first thing you must do is get rid of them that is remove them so in this case we would multiply both sides of the equation by 8 that is LCM lowest common multiple of all the denominators so 2 4 times is 8 and this denominator is gone 4 2 times is 8 and this denominator is also gone and 8 1 times is 8 and this is also gone so now a very simple linear equation is left see 4x plus 2x which is nothing but 6x and this is 1 so x will be equal to 1 over 6 question solved so now try to solve this linear equation see in this video I have tried to cover all the different types of linear equation that you can come across so that there isn't any linear equation left which you cannot solve easily so first you try to solve this equation and then I'll tell you how to solve it easily start so could you get the answer the answer would be x plus 6x that is 7x plus 6 equal to 6x plus 8 so x will be equal to 2 that's the answer so did you get x equal to 2 alright so let me put down the steps for you now this question can be very easily solved by using the binomial multiplication that you have already mastered if you remember that was the second video so you just have to cross multiply the binomial that is this entire binomial with this entire binomial and this entire binomial with this entire binomial so this way we'll be able to easily separate the terms and then we can arrange the variables on one side and the constants on the other side like we always do and solve the equation okay so I'll put down the steps multiply this binomial with this one now we'll multiply this binomial with this one so now we can easily expand these terms multiply the first term with the first term to get the first term of the answer the middle term is always rainbow so x plus 6x would be 7x and to get the last term we simply multiply the last term with the last term 1 times 6 is 6 similarly we can expand these as well Now as you can see the term x square is present on both the sides so we can simply cancel it out. So now what we are left with is a very simple linear equation which I am sure that you can solve mentally. 7x minus 6x would be x and 8 minus 6 would be 2 question is solved. In case you are wondering why do we cross multiply in this particular question then let me tell you that we are not doing anything different from what we have done so far to solve all the other questions see we are still using that same method of transposition 
Now, as you can see that this term x plus 6 has the operation division on this side. So, when you're going to take it to this side, obviously you're going to multiply and also this term. It also has the operation division on this side. So, when you're going to take it to the other side, it is going to get multiplied. See, it makes perfect sense. Just now, we have solved this equation in a proper manner by putting the steps down. But then, if you are in a hurry, like in a competitive exam, you are racing against the time. So, you can use this trial and error method that I'm going to teach you right now. If you look closely, you will find that this equation is made up of two fractions. So, all we have to do is put some value of x which will make these two fractions equal. So, let us first try putting x equal to 0. So, obviously, this fraction would become 1 over 4 and this fraction would become 2 over 6. 2 over 6 can be simplified further as 1 over 3. So, obviously, 1 over 3 is not equal to 1 over 4. So, now let us try the next value that is put x equal to 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 and 1 plus 4 is 5. So, this is 2 over 5. Similarly, this will be 3 over 7. Obviously, they are not equal. So, now let us try putting in the next value. That is, put x equal to 2. So, 2 plus 1 is 3 and 2 plus 4 is 6. Similarly, this will be 4 and this will be 8. Now, we can simplify these fractions further. 3 1 times is 3 and 3 2 times is 6. Similarly, 4 1 times is 4 and 4 2 times is 8. See, we have got the equal fraction on both sides of the equation. So, that means x equal to 2 is definitely the solution of this equation.